Now to get the most enjoyment out of your Nano Lagoon Reef Tank, it's very important to keep the glass clean. And we're going to go over a couple of issues today that you need to know about to maintain your tank the way it should be maintained. First, you need to pick up a little aquarium dip net like this. These are about a dollar in Walmart. And a couple of times a week, we recommend twice a week, you take the lighting unit off and look to see if there's any floating detritus at the surface of the tank. And if there is, just run the net through and take it out and then rinse off that net and that will take care of that. Next, uh, we're going to introduce a tool called the aquarium brush and this is just a long plastic handle with a fibrous plastic material on the end. These are sold again in Walmart and this one costs about four dollars and what we are going to do is use that brush to clean the inside glass of the tank. Now the nice thing about this Nano Lagoon is that it is made of glass and glass is not prone to scratching the way acrylic is. Many larger tanks are made using acrylic because acrylic is lighter than glass but in the small size ranges like 10, 15, 20 gallons glass is very practical and especially uh, for beginners you don't want to worry about scratching the tank. So you can see what I'm doing here, just going in up and down sweeping motions all around the inside of the tank. Now it's very important to recall when we set up our reef we said make sure that you leave a couple of inches, at least two inches around the sides between the rock and the glass and in the front and in the back. And you can see now why we made that recommendation so that when you do your cleaning you can get that aquarium brush right in there. You can really use a little bit of elbow grease if you have to and there's no danger of disrupting the rock or the organisms on the rock. So we're just doing all three sides of the tank. Some people don't do the back. Some do. It's up to you. Some like to let the coralline algae grow there. But certainly on the three viewing surfaces, that is in the front and in the sides, you want to get in there with an aquarium brush and do the glass cleaning twice a week. Some people do more, some people do less, but twice a week we think is about the minimum to keep your Nano Lagoon looking great.